we started looking out at different Chillum manufacturers and we found that they were all basically using a new type of frictionless drive, which does not require any internal lubrication, which increases the efficiency of the machine. Uh, there's no oil degradation factor at all whatsoever. What we did was we found that one particular vendor had a be the better of all the control systems available to suit our needs. So we could remote start stop the, these units from a central building automation system and also read all the essential parameters of the operating efficiencies while the machine was running. While we were researching the type of driveline, it seemed that most of the major chiller manufacturers were using a Danforce frictionless drive system, all right? Uh, no oil required. Like I said, major manufacturers were utilizing this technology. So we had a seminar basically on the Danforce drive system. It worked, worked great, it suited our needs, and like I said, all major chiller manufacturers are us utilizing this technology right now. So although the drive line remains the same, each manufacturer has its own co individual control system, okay, to drive basically the, Dan the Danforce drive. So we went with a control system that suited our needs with full redundancy. OEM, the original equipment manufacturer, did not support the driveline components, any parts, nor the electronic control modules that control that particular chiller. Although there was no problems with that chiller at the time, the energy consumption was excessively high due to the age of the machine. So we decided to retrofit that particular unit with the new driveline to obtain the energy savings obtain the longevity of the machine and also to be able to remote start stop and read all the essential parameters without, without having to send manpower up to that particular unit. The manpower issue was critical due to the fact that we had no control over condensed water, no control over chill water. As of right now, we have full control. We installed motorized valves on the condensed water system since our condensed water plant operates 24-7 due to two computer centers feeding, you know, for our IT division in this building. So the old units basically had condensed water flow 24-7 unless I sent somebody up there to valve it out. And that's what we had to do on a daily basis. On a startup, we had to open the valve, and on a shutdown, we had to close the valve. Right now, with one click from the BMS, even through an automatic timer, we avoided all of that manpower losses by putting it in its full automatic control. I got motorized initial chill of start. While we were selecting the particular fr frictionless drive and drive line, we noticed that the uh, operating voltage of all of these drive lines was 480 volt. Our main feed to this, to this particular facility is 208 from Con Edison. So what we had to do was incorporate a step-up transformer with the, prob uh, the proper KVA for the particular drive line, okay, that we, were, that we had selected. The annual kilowatt hour reduction is phenomenal, okay, uh, per unit as well as the savings per unit as uh, detailed by the chart shown. The uh, savings obtained by utilizing this particular driveline was approximately $6,621 annually and a total kilowatt reduction of 44,137 kilowatt hours annually. We have two units, so basically we doubled the reduction and double the savings. Thanks to the assistance of DCAS electricians Steve Carlucci, Lester, and Angelo, Steam Fitter Group, Thomas French, Felix Velez, Kelvin Torres, Mechanical Maintenance and Operations Engineers Richard Gonzalez, 
Joseph Pooker, Ralph Liffey, we were able to have this chiller up and running in just under two months. Fully operational with full remote start-stop capability and the ability to read all chiller parameters at a central location. This new technology that we utilize for the 12th and 24th floors, uh, we can utilize it on several other floors in this facility, thereby reducing man hour operations of going up in the morning, uh, shutting it down in the afternoon, as well as gaining increased overall efficiency and uh, savings.